Now we are going to show you how to use NetBeans along with a version management system. In this example, we are going to use Visual SVN server. The file is available, the installer is available on Moodle. You can download it and you can install it. It's a simple package to be installed. And you also have NetBeans in your machine. The aim of doing this is, suppose you write a code today, you modify it tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, you still modify, and then you want to revert back to the old changes, old things you did, you lose your old versions. So here, it will manage your versions correctly. So let's start. We will start the Visual SVN Server from start, start your Visual SVN Server Manager. It will come like this, and also start your NetBeans. First thing you got to do is go and create a repository. This is where it is going to store your files, different version of files. Let's start a repository now. Let's call this repository CPIT499, which is our course name. You don't need to create any uh, default structure. You don't need trunks, branches, and tags. So let's keep it as it is, leave it blank, and then click OK. So it will create a repository by the name CPIT499. So it's created now. The repository is here. Then you need to create a user. OK, right click, create user. There are two users you can create. One users within SVN. The other one, you don't need to use any SVN user but use your Windows accounts itself, Windows user accounts. But in our case, let's try this. Let's call it CPIT 499. You can give any name, doesn't need not be the same name as the repository, okay? So I'm giving like, let's say, call it as a test, password as 123, okay? It can be anything. Just give okay to it. So this is your user. Now go back to the repository which you have selected, which you have created, right click, go to the properties and Add the new user we have just created. Okay, this is test. And this is, make sure he has read write permissions to it. Click OK to it. So now the user has permissions to access this folder. Now go back to your NetBeans. So let's create a new project. Let's assume we are creating a Java project. Can be any project, doesn't matter. So you need to put it in a right folder. Let's say I'm giving name application, Java application 24. You can give any name, okay? And you can give the class names appropriately. I'm not going to bother about the code itself. I'm really concentrating on the SVN side. So let's say this is created now. So go to team here, go to subversion, click checkout, okay? So to do this, here I need to provide the URL, repository URL, go to your repository, select your repository, right click, copy URL to clipboard, okay? Come back here. Now in here, you can paste that URL, which you've just now got. All right, I'm pasting with Control B. And then I need to provide the username and password. Remember, I used test123 as my username and password. You can select save the username if you want. Otherwise, you can leave it. Click next. It says connection refused by the server. Options request failed. If you get such an error, go back to the SVN. Select your server and see it is not started. So start the server. Okay, this is maybe a reason why it did not connect. So now the server has started. Let's go back again. Okay, same step, give you next again. Now this time it connects, okay? So nicely it connects. You can also give like the folder. Make sure it is the folder, correct folder. In my case, it is taking my old folder, never mind. Let's give okay. Before you give okay, let's see whether this folder exists in our machine properly or not. Go to here, go to the users. If you don't want it to be under users folder, you can change it to any other folder, it doesn't matter, okay? So it's under NetBeans projects. It's this folder. This is the folder is going to put my uh, link my files to. So my files are already here using my NetBeans. Now it will link. This is the local folder as you can see. Click finish. So now it is done. We are connected to the repository. Now we are going to commit. Anytime you make any change, you want to save it, you can commit it. Okay, click commit. In commit, you can put some messages here. First version or maybe you want to write something. I change this part of the program, okay? Write something under, which makes sense to you. Click commit. So now I'm committing, let's say. It might give you errors sometimes, so don't worry. We will have a look at what are the errors and what are the possibilities there. So. It did nothing, so it means there was no compliance. So let's see here. You can go and check search history. 
it will show you if there is any other files available, format available or not. So let me go here. Again, I'm going to click commit just to see what really happens. There's no change. So there's nothing to commit here. Okay. The first version is already there. Let's go and change something. Let's say I'm typing here. Print LN and I say testing, for example. Okay. Save this file. Moment I save it, okay, this is just saved. It becomes blue color here indicating it is not yet committed. So I want to commit. If you want to commit, you can commit. If you think too trivial, I don't need to commit, you don't need to. So let's commit again. It says the only change I have is this one. So let's call it as I did change my Java file. Okay. With a print LN statement. Just give commit. So now it is committing. So it is done now. So if you want to see what happens to it, you can have a look. So this is where your files are. Okay. You see it created a file.svn. This file is a hidden file. If you want to see, you have to go to the control panel, go to folder options under view tag. You need to enable show hidden files. So this will connect things like. Okay, this is file. If you have some problems with regard to connecting to the repository, sometimes you might need to remove this file. Okay, so that is explained in your uh, issues, problems and issues word file provided to you. So let's go back here. You can check uh, the history now. Okay, so you see there are two versions and it will show you. If I want to roll back, for example, I can click just say roll back. Right, and then it might give me errors like this. Okay, sometimes you will find error something is missing okay it couldn't find the file and then you might need to check let's say if i want to roll back to this version right this looks fine let's say it has come back uh, to the previous version one step before you can go back to any number of versions these things will work you can do make changes you can commit if you want to you can also see differences from what is existing so these are various options you have uh, in this case. So this is quite simple, but it has a lot of options which can help you to uh, improve your material, I mean, improve your programming skills and you don't lose your stuff. So for this purpose, we are giving you a file how to set up and what are the issues you might face, which is available on the Moodle. So this shows how to use it in NetBeans, how to use it in Eclipse and some problems you might face and their solutions. For example, sometimes you change uh, there is a difference in UID. You can change, you have to do some steps here. Sometimes you will say you are working on a different copy, then you need to delete the .svn folder. You might get something like file not found, like the error we just got now. Okay, you might need to update things. Okay, maybe there is an update which is missing that's giving this error. You might get this error, which is the error we got first time. That is an error due to the server is not started. So these are few errors you might face while you do your program. Uh, that's all on this topic.